We are Anointing TV. We are the answer to the nations. We are God's vision at work. Anointing TV. Changing lives and restoring families with the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are the hope of the world. With Prophet Alex Ngambo, the founder of JDP International in the Prophetic Genesis Movement, which is the network of ministers worldwide. Demonstrating the word with prophecy, teaching the word with simplicity and bringing light and understanding to the simple. Equipping and developing men and women to their God-given assignment. Partner with Anointing TV today. Visit www.alexngambole.com Join the International School of Prophecy. Anointing TV. Welcome to Anointing TV. On the 21st of April, Mrs. Lenny came from Bumalanga to attend the service in Johannesburg Oriba Hotel with Prophet Alex. And she got a prophecy. Now she came to testify on how accurate and precise the prophecy was as it came to pass. Let us hear her testimony.
flora, 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 To, to feed my children. That's why my children have been cursed because she even ate that. And then for for for, for the moti, you said there's a moti at the back of my yard. Uh -huh. And then my son, as I pray for them, my second one son, on the third day he had a dream that he had to dig a, a tree at the back. And then the sister said, Are you mad? Can you wake up five o'clock and dig up? The, 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 he said, No, man, I must go dig. The Holy Spirit is saying, I must go deep. He's also a Christian. He did and come with a bottle with yes. and with something that was for us. And you are in the middle of the NIV. Do you understand? And, and you say at the back of my yard, yes. there is a, a, like a way of a snake. Uh, there's a snake that crawls in my yard and we don't see it. After I, I, I left here, in the morning I saw a big spot of a, it's like a, a mamba. It's like this, if you can go to my house, you can find it. We were cutting grass, and nobody says it. Nobody has seen it. But then there was this, this person who wake up in the morning. You said there will be someone who wake up in the morning and you will come and look for, for this place. This place. Yes. I said there is someone that is looking in now. Every morning, make sure he came and look for this place where he's meant to work. We didn't. I just pray that God, please re 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 release me to go there. This morning when we come here, we wake up at 5 o'clock to, uh -huh. to come here. But we came late because the devil departed us. Uh -huh. I came, uh, 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 when I came to the it was 8 o'clock. And then 10 o'clock he left home. He was trying to dodge me. Uh -huh. The devil makes him to dodge me. I said, I'm this one. Yes, I pray. Sorry, I said, God, I'm going to wait for him. He can't touch you. That's why we need. Wow. Yeah. Do you know that he was going to die in prison? A prophet, what you say? I did have this vision that I'm going to have a funeral in my house. I, I call him and sit, sit down with him and say, my boy, I saw you dying. I see you. Is it true? Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. The Lord is changing your life now. And God is saying, give your life fully to Jesus. Give your life fully to Jesus. Because this time, they are going to get you because someone who is very close to this one will be caught. And then they will come and take this one. I see him dying in prison. But God said, no, because in the years, you don't want to die. Oh, yes. I'm a servant I'm a servant I'm going to pray for you because many times of you that there's something that is going to happen in the heart of you just because you're going to be
You are going to come here and testify. God has changed your life. Amen. Well, blessings. <clears throat> blessings, blessings, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that testimony, that wonderful testimony that I was playing right now. So as you are joining in live, just make sure that you share the broadcast. This is the son of the navigator, Apostle Teddy. This is the son of the navigator, Apostle Teddy. I hope you enjoyed that and may the same grace that located that woman come upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. May the same anointing that hit that lady because she attended. May you begin to be hit by the same anointing that will be flowing today. So I bless you as you are coming in. Just make sure that you share the broadcast. We are coming live from our studios right now. And I want you to get ready for a supernatural encounter with the Lord. A supernatural encounter that is about to hit your spirit very hard. I pray for you right now as you gear up and prepare yourself. I know that some of you are taking your pens and papers down and you're putting in your Bible and say, I'm ready. I want you to invite some folks. Just let people know that the prophet is about to come live right now. And I just want to check some comments right now as people are coming in. Just make sure that you come in live and make sure that you are inviting a friend. Just share the broadcast. Just share the broadcast as you are coming in. And the Lord shall bless so much here today. Let's just invite a lot of people and let people come to this platform to be blessed. Lord, Prataliga asejen prenosa via akler nosha. Mingau takija brohoto viga setra inka bila atea. Lene me sovra akleto baiga dusha. Me sovra akle enka viga tusha. Rediga sovra eklato mahane. Miko barada soja la bronto kija. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we acknowledge your presence. We acknowledge the Holy Ghost. We acknowledge the Helper. We acknowledge the Elos Paraclet. And Lord, we acknowledge him in his place. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Father. As your prophet, and my father is going to come to this platform. May the spirit, almighty God of your children, be receptive to receive your way with meekness and kindness in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray, let your will be done right now. Veneniga soja prate ki jene klato mengan de dora brate pia suve eklara pernosa brate de viga setriga sopra aklia biate tis paradas miranusa brate le kia suvia pranto paradea renehiga soja la pratos pieto me venigo sabra ala nuja de kratos prento lo pronto kogela ate Father, we thank you, we bless you for what is about to happen today. Let me thank you, Lord, for the anointing upon my father. We bless you so much. We are so excited. For people are watching us live from all over the world. Some of them, they are watching us from India. I saw India in the building. I saw also Cape Town in the building. I saw America, the New York in the building. I saw Holland in the building. So I just want to thank God for your life as you are watching us from all over the world. God is about to do something excellent, extraordinary in your life. I don't want to waste a lot of time because Papa is ready. And I'm also ready to listen to what he has for us today. What I came here for is just some few announcements. Uh, there were a lot of people who registered for the, 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 the major prophet program that is coming up this 1st of June. And the, the, there are some who were sending me emails and they told me that we are going to start making our payments as soon as tomorrow. So I just want you also that if you know that you have registered, please just do your first payment before we begin the classes. Just do your first payment before we begin the classes because this is going to be on a private periscope. A lot of people were asking, is it, is it still on? Is it still going? And we told them that yes, we are going to be live and direct. And those people who are coming in right now, we just want to thank God for life. So if you are coming for the first time, this is the platform where uh, the men of God, Prophet Alex Sikambule, will be live with you shortly. So I'm here just to announce some few exciting things. Somebody saying, I am so excited, I can feel the Holy Spirit in this place. Well, God bless you as you are watching us. Remember, we are going to be having this school, and I want people who have registered, who have sent through their emails, who have sent through back the forms, to make their first payment through our PayPal account that is appearing on the screen. Just make sure that you do your PayPal. Make sure that you do a, a, a minimum amount of that money that you have. A quarter of the money 
that you have. If you have the half of the amount, you can send through the half. If you have the full amount, you can send through via our PayPal that is appearing on your screen. So may the Lord God Almighty bless you as you are about to listen to something very powerful today. I am so excited in my spirit that major prophets through this platform shall be raised. And I declare and I decree under the anointing of my Father that you are one of those people who are going to partake of such grace, such anointing that is upon my Father. So I want you to get ready. Get ready for what God is about to do today. For your life shall never remain the same again. You are about to experience a turnaround. You are about to experience an encounter with the Lord. So just wrap it up and just, you know, hit the road as my Father is going to be coming to give us a wonderful, wonderful testimony of the word of God. So I want you to just continue to share the broadcast as it's coming. Just share the broadcast and invite someone that you know that he is willing and waiting to hear the word of God. We saw Braha Tefi Jalabaha. As you're watching just bubble in tongues as it's coming, let's just bubble in tongues. Rom Taki Jalabahiba. I see people are joining me. Praktopa. Me Zoraha Teki Jalabran Teki Jalahai. Ima Satala Brahate. Membre Sopra in Kadu Jalabrahate. Lerene Zoronja Prokto Paladiga Sonja Brahate. Venne Sopra Akla Anke Biga Sonja. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Prasuva, 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 prasuva. Ikobala, ikobala, ikobala. Lene higa honda kijo prahate kivya. Retonja la prahande revia suva apia inga dusha. Meitan pratova libra aseja inga dusha. In the name of Jesus Christ. Well, I bless you, I bless you, I bless you, I bless you. Papa is in the building. Ah, oh, my father. We are anointing TV. We are the answer to the nation. We are God's vision at work. Anointing TV. Changing lives and restoring families with the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are the hope of the world. With Prophet Alex Ngambo, the founder of JDP International and the Prophetic Genesis Movement, which is the network of ministers worldwide. Demonstrating the word with prophecy, teaching the word with simplicity and bringing light and understanding to the simple. Equipping and developing men and women to their God-given assignment. Partner with Anointing TV today. Visit www.alexngambole.com Join the International School of Prophecy. Anointing TV. Blessings. Blessings to everybody. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for being part of this broadcast. Um, my son is just here doing, you know, wonderful prayers and I believe a lot of people are blessed and I can see right in your eyes that you've received the anointing of God. I can feel power is just flowing in your body, in your blood, everywhere. I can feel the power of the Spirit of God. I can feel that Jesus is really doing some great works over your life. So I want to see some, some comments and I want to see um, a lot of people in this place. Come on, just share the broadcast. Prophet Alex, the navigator, is in the house. God bless you. God bless you, Derek. God bless you, Derek. Recreo sakis de monso, practele ongo skijo saratliga, radigo son fabonda, kiba akla, station baradiga akrodis de monso, viga, veragastos parush, veragastos parush, azanto kiba actos, practele monso brahiga, shakidaba, lira don sa pradiga banda, shapasibo paradeski, veranongo soja, practe kidale. Lira nongo parush kiza vahapto ka brute eklanamai. Kiza ato. Station alanando korayden ka ikteske. Vediga ongradish. Sombara gister diga sakla nongo. Kora basika. Shelera dastos. Vera nondos. Mira gonske efia diga atalibai. Proteka sikradishto. Lira sombra badesh. Tele zomba kivahate. Para tera dia sakida. Miko. Lara tseka. Parunde ikka kistavai. 
Ila sonja parush Mika Lala uteko parakuste Minga ngao tengutu wa tumba bakabadega Praktoskeive baladiga prando kuste Shaba adele mangradiga Saka seijo Krokodaba a Kiba saya Chopa la mande Trada katoske La ungra gaskive La no monso prahiga Shakila abaye So bale prada kuste Mila nongo baijo Diga dungra diga sakaba e Sakaba e Sakaba e Sakaba e Sakaba e Chopa manda Prakuste Prakuste pradega Koba saya Chalamando Praktoskive la hando sukabade Proskive la salama Proctele monso prahiga Chapa kasei verdiga So prisantos proctele mongo Vergaste skiza kiza ato So jahata So jahata So jahata So jahata So jahata So jahata kida Kida saradligo Fractele ongo pactor diga sakte vigo Chopa kisto ofrediga Prakusta 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 brahata kiza Lernongo chopa iga Miso labaye tele giza pranta Fra ango sika pa aklo Krotos ina bahashte viga Pro unza paradiga akta la ma O so paba sei kabaye Nira nongo pa kredisko Fahazo pa ile entre goske Cho pa la manda la sakida basei Nira nongo kroske Kera si cho pra anko skive Mura nongo suka ba akta Mure na sadei Sadei, sadei, sadei Hata kizo sali Miko paradiga fra huske Cho pra koste ba akta la ma Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Woo! Mi la ba sombra da deisho pra kabaye. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The word of God is moving in the name of Jesus. It is touching people. It is changing life. Changing lives all over the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Touching everybody. Touching couples. Touching singles. Touching everybody. Touching everybody. From every class, from every level, from every di direction, from every dimension. The word is touching you. The word is lifting you. The word is opening doors for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lira sonja pra higa tara apto. Kiba akre fina akre sclerasi. Sombra liga akre liga. Pra unzo pa kiste prato. Lira nongo sombra da teiga aklinio in tu prate kiso. Cho pa la mande le giza pra hato skive. Pra onga pa kradisko tolo monso. Prakiva, Pakus, Inama, Lira Sonja, Prahiga, Atala, Atas, O Baye, Kinama, Sate, Baye, Telamande, Kiba, Sate, Lira Nongo, Suki, and Elemandra, Diga, Show Paski, Be Mangita, Akratos, Kide, Lira Domo, Pakra, Diga, Aklaton, Miga, Basopra, Ita, Astovi, Vargasto, Sombra, Gadish, Ketelemunso, Koba, Saya, Milera, Gasto, Sabra, Diga, Shakida, Baye, Oh, Pada Seigra, Kos Eiden, Prakos Kida, Ming Dang Dang Dao Te Kisa, Molena Alexra, Akiston Apiando Kuste Le Mi, Fra Akisto Vale Baro Sumbradisto Le Vina Maiden, Dra Kusten Eiden Kisa Ato, Station Aranaidon Kisaro, Mingo Dao Tengu Tsuku Makate Le Kisto Va Ikra, Miku Tsuku Kaunda Sika Va Aktas, Fra Gasto Shopalama. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is doing wonders in your lives. He's blessing you. He's increasing you. Increasing your ability. Increasing your wisdom. Increasing your strength. The Lord is working in your spirit. The Lord is working in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, every pain is going away. Every sickness is going away. In the name of Jesus, every oppression is going away. In the mighty name of Jesus, be free. Be free. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Liba sombra da shele e pradiga. Oh, jela gabara la angra di sopuste viga aptas. Ra honga skive para atla mango skijas. Oh, sakiba ato. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glorify your greatest name, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Share the broadcast wherever you are. Share the broadcast wherever you are. Makabasia. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Let your love flow all over the world and touch people. Touch lives and change lives all over the world. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Reach the unreachable. Touch the untouchable. Touch everybody. Deliver everybody. Lose everybody. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak as your prophet in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be freedom. Let it be deliverance. Let it be peace in the name of Jesus Christ. I calm that sea. I calm the waves and the winds. I calm whatever storm that your children are going through. The storms in their marriages. The storms in their lives. The storms in their career. The storms in their businesses. The storms in their health. The storms in their financial, in their finances. The storms in whatsoever, in their plans, their dreams, in their visions. The storms. I call them in the name of Jesus Christ. Peace be still in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be peace. Let there be peace in the name of Jesus. Wherever there is darkness, I speak illumination in the name of Jesus. By the means of the Spirit of God. Let there be light. Let there be the illumination in the name of Jesus. Kora basikla parushka ibena ma angradishka talazeros. Pradigo sombra da basikla praktolomonso pra igabashata nama. Koba saya. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let there be peace in Jesus' name. May the Lord anoint you tonight. May the Lord anoint you wherever you are. Be anointed in the name of Jesus. Let your giftings, the giftings of the Spirit of God, that God has planted in your life, let them blossom, let them manifest, operate in the area of your operations, says the Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, you shall not be hidden. You shall be recognized, you shall be known. For these are the hours, these are the days where the Spirit of God has dispatched us, has sent me as His prophet to unleash you, to unlock your gift, to impart the giftings of the Spirit over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall operate, says the Lord. You shall operate, says the Lord. You shall touch many. You shall change many. You shall be effective in the name of Jesus. You are effective in the name of Jesus. You are effective in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what they've said to you. It doesn't matter what they've done to you. They have supplied you. They have placed you aside. They said you are not good enough. You are not educated enough. You are not. You are not. You don't. You don't. You are not able to speak good enough. They said all men of words. They rejected you, afflicted you, oppressed you. They walked on you. They walked out of you. But I came here to. To decree and declare that heaven is recognizing you. You are recognized by heaven. Hmm. Heaven is recognizing you. Hmm. Heaven is recognizing you. You are recognized by heaven. That's why God has sent me to speak to you. That's why God has sent me to speak and touch your life. It is because heaven is recognizing you. You are recognized of God. People may reject you, but he will never reject you. People will look down at you, but he will not look down at you. People will sideline you. People say you are not good enough. They will walk out of you. But he will not walk out of you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. People will plant you in the dark. But God will not plant you in the dark. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Spirit of God. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you Abba Father. Thank you Spirit of God. Thank you Lord Jesus. Let a nongo papra di shalamando prakis de biga akros shele ombra da sele para eva dei kratos iga kadish de baro sombra da dela lero sombra gistova sika aklo mingros igan takida tra avina ma opra arre di stele onso per ancos ages da frigos kida i koba akte mila da sonjas fera gastos fera gastos fera gastos Iga Sanjos, Iga Sanjos Salamando Copra Ate Viga. Fra Acus de Ega Bai, Shepala Andros, Micros Ega Akrasi, Shepala, Fra Cos Kefra Aklarasi, Shopala Mande de Giso Praktalama. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I don't care how much strong the enemy is trying to rise against you. He will never win. He will never win. He will never win in the name of Jesus. He never won any back in the Bible. He never won. He was always defeated. He was always defeated. He was always 
placed under the feet of those that are walking with the Lord. I'm here to tell you, you're walking with the Lord. Greater is He that is in you than He that is in the that, than He that is in the world. Greater is He in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus. Even though the enemy comes to you like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall raise the standard against him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you are rescued of God. You are delivered by God. You are delivered by Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For this reason, the Son of Man was revealed. That he may take away the works of darkness. That he may take away the works of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. You are anointed. You are anointed. You are anointed. The anointing that you have received from Him dwells in you. It stays in you. It teaches you all things. It teaches you all things. Abide in Him. Abide in Him. As He was, so He is. As He was, so He is. We are in Him. We are in Him. The light of glory. The light of glory. The light of glory. The light of the world in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord, for your spirit. Thank you, Lord, for your glory. Thank you, Lord, for your anointing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We may be in the world, but we are not of this world. 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 We are not of this world in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter how strong. It doesn't matter how big. It doesn't matter how strong the winds are trying to blow on us. We are victorious in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just told you, the enemy never won any battle in the Bible. He never won any battle. He never won. He never won. He tried to kill Moses. After hearing that the Savior is born. After hearing that the Savior is born. The one that is going to deliver the children of Israel. After hearing that he's born. He's, he, he, he did everything that was on his power to kill him. But he didn't know him. Why? He raised him in his house. In his home. The devil is a fool. He raised Moses in his house. Yet Moses was the one that was going to put him down. Was the one that was going to destroy him. The Bible says about God that he, he, he broke in pieces the head of Leviathan. In that Red Sea, that is when he broke the head of Leviathan. When he, he, when he parted the Red Sea, that the children of God will walk in between. That is the day when he broke the head. He broke in pieces the head of Leviathan. The Bible says, the Bible says we are the rock of edges. For he is the rock of ages. We have come together that we have come to build a spiritual house. A spiritual house. That's what we are. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you for the anointing of the spirit. Thank you Lord. The devil is trying so hard. To tell you that you have, won, that you have you've been defeated in the battle. He shows you everything. He, share, he shows you everything. And, and watch this. When it comes, he doesn't show you your strength. You actually got more strength than you have your weakness. Your strength is about that why you can. You're still following the, the Lord. The Bible says time shall come when a lot of people shall walk away from the faith. But you're still here. You're still journeying on the faith. You're still walking in the faith. It's because your strength is more than your weakness. Your strength is greater than your weakness. But when the devil comes, he tries to show you your weakness. He tries to show you what you cannot do better. He tries to show you your failures, where you've been defeated, where you've lost. He tries to show you where you've messed up in the past. Every time you want to take a step forward, he brings your past to you. He shows you, you're not good enough. You cannot do better. He shows you, you're not good enough. But I'm here to tell you, who is he that can, light, that, that can lay charges against the elect of the Lord? Is he God 
who justify it. In all these things we know that there's nothing that can separate us from the will of God, from the love of God. We are stayed in Him. We are stayed in Him. When going anywhere, we are looking towards Jesus. And He's blessing you right now. I want to begin my teaching so, so, so soon. And I want you to share. I want you to share. Alright? I want you to share the broadcast. I'm beginning my teaching right now. The Lord was asking me to anoint you with these declarations, affirmations of faith. And the Lord is with you. As I'm looking to you right now, as I'm looking to you right now, I can see, I can see a lot of people are receiving the anointing of God. You are receiving the anointing of God. I, I, I'm seeing the anointing in your eyes. So I see the anointing in your eyes right now. I'm, as I'm looking at you like this, I see the anointing in your eyes. Look at your eyes. I see the anointing. That, that's the anointing entering in your eyes. That's the anointing. I see the anointing in your eyes. I see it all over your body. It enters through your eyes. It enters through your eyes. In the realms of the spirit. When we hear, we see. When we see, we hear. So the anointing is entering through your eyes. You are being encouraged in your spirit. I can tell you. I see it right now in your heart. You are being encouraged. You are being energized. You are being vigorated in the name of Jesus Christ. You are being energized in your spirit. The Lord is energizing you. The Lord is imparting you with strength, with power, with mighty in your spirit. The Lord is imparting you with grace. I can see in your eyes. Speak those terms. Speak those terms. Some of you I can see your lips. You're speaking in tongues. You're speaking in tongues. You're, you're speaking in tongues. I can hear the Lord is ministering to me. As you're speaking in tongues, the Lord is ministering to me. Marco Baba Baba, take over after. Rakush de Maiklava Sombra Diga Sakida. The Lord is ministering in your spirit. Yes, that's 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 the message. That's the message. Speak it out. Speak it out. Speak it out. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Take it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are eating the fruits. Thank you, Lord. You are eating the fruits. You are eating the fruits. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Spirit of Jesus. Kovasaya. Milagasto. Preko Vigaba Akla. Raiden Kingdom Maiden. Station Aiden. Kosten Divai. Mandele Gobra Tele Viga Apranto. Klopra Akira Sa Ashtebe. Viko Prat. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If, if by mistake you are not born again, if by mistake you are watching this broadcast and you are not born again, you are not a child again, you are still suspecting that this thing, is it real? Is it true? I want to invite you to receive the Lord Jesus. I want to invite you to receive the Lord Jesus. I want you to say, Lord Jesus, come in my heart. I believe that you are a child of God. That you died. That God raised you from the dead. That you are seated in the right hand of God right now. In the right hand of the Father. I believe in your word. It is true. Enter in my heart. Forgive me my sins. Wash my sins. Wash my errors. Thank you, Lord. Make me a child of God. Make me a new creation. For from today, cleanse all my weakness and my sins and my sicknesses and my poverty. Wipe them away. Thank you, Lord, for receiving me. Thank you for receiving my prayer. Thank you that from this time onwards, I am a child of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Well, I want to talk about... I want to talk about something very important. I'll be very short. I want to talk about, you know, 
I want to talk about fruits. I want to talk about fruits. So if you're watching me, you just type fruits. Type fruits. Fruits. How to bear fruits in the kingdom. How to bear fruits. How to be fruitful in the kingdom of God. So I want to talk about that. I'll be just very, very short. So if you're watching me, just type fruits, 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 fruits. Thank you. If you're hearing me, just type fruits. Type fruits. Yes. Yes, fruits. Yes. Type fruits. Fruits. In the book of Matthew chapter 3 verse 8. He says something very powerful. He says, therefore bear fruits in keeping with repentance. He says, bear fruits in keeping with repentance. Uh, I read this verse repeatedly. It's just that. I read it repeatedly. He says, bear fruits. He says, continue to bear fruits. In repentance. He says, bear fruits in repentance. Give fruits in repentance. Give fruits in repentance. So I, I want I want I want to cover some some things concerning fruits that are very very important. Therefore, bear fruits in keeping with repentance. Let me get this verse right here. But one thing I know is that after this teaching tonight, you are going to bear fruits like never before. Your level of bearing fruits in the kingdom is going to be unlimited. The Lord will give you special fruits. Thank you. Thank you. Bring forth, therefore, fruits, meat for repentance. He says in another verse, he says, Bring fruits, therefore. Bring fruits, therefore, meat, repentance. In other words, he says, There are kind of fruits that are inconsistent with repentance. There are fruits that he's expecting to one that is repentant or to one that is born again. He says, once you repent, your repentance will be revealed by fruits. That is what he's trying to say. And I'm going to be going deeper. I'll be teaching you how to bear fruits. You need to be able to bear fruits. It's your responsibility to bear fruits. I like it in, the, in, in this version. What, what's, what's this version again? It's the King James Version. He says, Bring forth, bring forth, it says, bring forth, therefore, fruits meant repentance or for repentance. Bring, therefore, fruits meant or meant for repentance. Fruits that are in line with repentance. It means God can measure fruits. Once you are born again, there is something that is looking from you. It is called fruits. It is called fruits. Because in the kingdom of God, for any change, for any move, a fruit is required. We have a fruit. We have a seed. The word of God is a seed. The word is a seed. So when you ingest the word, or when the word is being planted to somebody, it becomes a seed. And then it grows to a tree. The tree that is born or that is after the seed of the word, that fruit or that tree bears fruits. And those are the fruits that he's talking about. It says, it says bear fruits therefore meant for repentance. It says bear fruits therefore meant for repentance. There are fruits that are inconsistent with repentance. So when God is looking at you, you say you're born again. He doesn't care about your statement. He cares about fruits. And I want us to hear what Jesus thinks about fruits. In the book of, in the book of John chapter 15, he says something very important. 
He says, I am the true vine, and my father is the husband. Every branch in me that beareth not fruits, he taketh away. And every branch that bring, he says, that beareth fruits, he purged it, that it may bring forth more fruits. I want you to understand it. He says, I am, I am the true vine, and my father is the is the garden dresser, which is, is the husbandman. It means, is the caretaker. He says, my father is the caretaker. I am the true vine. He's actually saying, I am the true. I'm, I am the tree. So in the garden of Eden, we saw there were trees. Jesus comes and says, I am the tree. And my father is the husbandman. He says, if, if we begin to ask that, what are we? He says, ye are the branches. Ye are the branches. Every branch in me that doesn't bear fruits, he says, he cut it, he removes it. That beareth not fruit, he taketh it away. And every branch that beareth fruits, he pays it, it means he prunes it. That it may bring forth more fruits. So, there are three levels of fruits. There are three levels of bringing fruits. Number one, it's bringing fruits. Number two, it's bringing more fruits. Number three, it's bringing much fruits. Much fruits. Let me check the comment to see if I'm still with people in this place. So if you hear me, I want you to type. Number one is that it's, it's fruits. Bringing fruits. Number one is bringing fruits. Number two, it's bringing more fruits. Number three, it's bringing much fruits. But what he wants, he wants you. To bring fruits. He says, once he notices that you are bringing fruits, he says, he is fine. She is fine. Alright? But I have to prune her away. I have to prune some things. It means, if the Lord finds you that you are bringing fruits, he works in you. He works on you. He, works, he, he doesn't want you to bring fruits. He wants you to bring more fruits. From more fruits, he wants you to bring much fruits. So that he wants you to be productive. The Lord wants so much that you are productive. So the first level is bringing fruits. Bringing fruits. Many of you are in the level of, of, of where you are just bringing fruits. You are bringing fruits. I, I'm about to show you what are fruits. Alright? I'm about to teach you what are fruits. Now, I want us to continue in the Bible. I'll start afresh again. I'll start afresh. I'll start afresh. I feel like this is too much. Cross in my arm. Crop to the moon for the Abraham. Go to Hasidim. La Dango Sinti Gage. The moon from his daughter. The Abraham. 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 Prune me, Jesus. Sharon is saying, prune me, Jesus. Now watch this. Thank you, they're reducing some volume here. Now watch this. Uh, let, let me start afresh. Let me start afresh. I am the true vine, and my father is a husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruits, he taketh it away. It is more dangerous not to bear fruits. The reason some of you you are always looking for yourself. You have not found yourself yet. To a point that you, you try to look at yourself in different places. You have not yet found yourself. You have not found who you are. It's because you, you, you don't want to bear fruits. You don't want to bear fruits. In the book of Isaiah chapter 65, 
He says, he says, you shall not give, you shall not be, you shall not be, you know, unfruitful. You shall not be barren. He has placed us in a place of being productive. But we're about to solve certain things right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We're about to solve certain things. It's very dangerous. It's very dangerous to be in a place where you don't bear fruits. Because if you don't bear fruits, what are you living for? What are you here for? There are people who are here to see everyone that is not doing right, everyone that is not doing right, everyone that, that's not doing okay, everyone that's not, you know, conducting themselves the way they should, everyone that's... They, 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 their lives are about... See, everyone that is not doing right, they can never come to you and say thank you for this. They can never say to you thank you. They, they're always in a position of saying, you know, you, know, you, didn't, you, you didn't do right here. And, and you are, you're wondering, when did I do right? Has I ever done right for this person? Why? Because there are people who are in a place of, they, they are just pointing fingers. There is no, to them, there is no finger that is pointing to them. It's just about other people. If you do so, you are in danger. Your death is, is closer than before. One sickness, you are gone. Why? You are useless. What are you here for? What are you here for? He told us now. He told us now. There are people who are always in a position of saying, you know, oh, it's, it's my husband. If something is not well, if, if something is not okay in the marriage, it's my husband. If something is not okay in the job, it's my boss. If something is not okay in the company, it's my is my colleague. There is no way where can they where they can sit down and say, maybe because I do this, then that's why they, this is like this. Maybe because, maybe because, you know, they, they are not they are not in a place like that. Every time is just, you know. And Jesus is saying, you are in danger if you cannot bear fruits. You, you are in danger. You are in danger. That's why one day I said, never become a critic in the house of God. No matter where you find yourself, but be, be, be always, be always in a place where you, you, you say to you, I can never become a critic in the house of God. If something is not right, I don't talk, I fix it. If something is not going okay, I don't talk, I fix it. Alright? I fix it. I, I, remember, I remember, you know, just, just now, I think it was yesterday. I think it was yesterday. One, one person, I think it's someone, who phoned us. He paid money, you know, he paid money for one-on-one. -on -one. He registered for one-on-one. -on -one. And I'm like, what's... I'm, I'm like, maybe he, you know, is about prayers and all that. He says, Papa, I just want to say thank you for what you're doing for us. He said, on behalf of Periscope, behalf, behalf, on behalf of the whole world, I've paid money to register just to say thank you for what you're doing for us. It was my first time. I said, really? He said, thank you. You're touching lives. You're, you're taking your time to touch lives, you know. He said, thank you. I just, I'm just here. I don't need no prayer. I don't need nothing today. I'm just here to say, thank you. Thank you. I said, really? Really? He paid money. He followed protocol. Placed on waiting list. I mean, waiting list. Just to say, thank you. I said, Jesus. We need many people like this. I said, Lord, we need a lot of people like this. I said, Wow. Wow. May Jesus touch. <laughs> Someone said, I'll never be a critic in the house of God. It's very dangerous. It's very dangerous. These are things that, you know, you must be, as a person, you must really be careful about. You must really be careful about. You see, he says, he says, every branch in me that is not bearing fruits, you see, once you're born again, you have become a branch. You have become a branch. He says, but every branch in me that is not bearing fruit, he says, my father taken it away. What can stop the father not to take you away? You are not sowing seeds 
in the kingdom. You are not pushing the gospel. You, you, you talk only. You are not preaching the gospel. You are not witnessing about the gospel. You just woke up, you go to work. You, you, you come back home, you, you stay with your family, you eat, you sleep, you give birth to children. You laugh, you laugh, you do all that. There's nothing you do for the kingdom of God. Don't you know you start seeking the kingdom first? And all this righteousness, that is that all these things shall be added unto you. Is that seek ye the kingdom first. And what, what, understand this. If you say seek ye the kingdom first, it means there is a point where you will find the kingdom. You cannot keep seeking the kingdom. Why do you want to be keep keep you why do you think you have to keep seeking the kingdom? You don't keep seeking the kingdom. You seek it once. Once you find it, you live in it. But there is a sign for you to know that you have found the kingdom. He said, seek ye the kingdom first. And all his righteousness. Then he said, all these things shall be added at your feet. So what? It means once you find the kingdom, all the things shall be added at your feet. Kaba sayama under digasatlaki. All these things shall be added your, at your feet. Then when these things are added in your feet, you know, I have found the kingdom. I have found the kingdom. Thank you, Lord Jesus. When it comes to me, I, I, when I pray, I don't say, Father, you said I must seek the kingdom first. No. I said, I found it. I found the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, I found the kingdom. Why? He said, all these things shall be added at your feet. There are some things that are waiting to be added in your feet. But they will only come once you find the kingdom. So the reason is I seek. We are not here to seek only. He did not bring us to seek. We cannot seek until we die, until we go. No. No. No, God forbid. We will seek and seek and seek. And find it. And say, glory, we found the kingdom of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Woo, glory to God. We found the kingdom. And once we found it, oh boy, it's working for us. It's working for us. Working for us. Working for us. All these things are added unto our feet. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. God. Wherever you are, I want to shout. I want you to shout. I found it. I found it. Glory. Oh, Jesus. I feel the anointing of Jesus like never before. Oh, my God. Glory. I want you to. The Bible says, upon his fullness. We heap grace upon grace. You don't heap only. You must heap grace upon grace. And then come to a place where you, you say, I found grace. I found grace. I found grace for myself. Grace for my children. Grace for my ministry. Grace for my finances. I found grace. In the name of Jesus. You don't keep asking for grace. Let's go back to the message. I found it. Woo! My God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. If you believe you have found something from God, I want you to connect right now. I want you to connect. In, in the kingdom of God, we believe this. We are so convinced about it. We don't need anybody to re-emphasize it to us. We believe that in the kingdom of God, for us to receive, we release. We are so convinced about it. It is our principle in the kingdom. We don't need anybody to, we don't, we don't need anybody to re-emphasize. We can't doubt it. We know it is how it is. We know for us to receive, we release. For us to receive, we release. We connect to collect. That's the principle of the kingdom. And if you believe you have found grace for your children, grace for your family, grace for your work, grace for your business, grace for your ministry. If you believe you have found grace, I want you to take your seed. Connect. 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 Take your seed. Connect right now. Connect. Take it. Connect. 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 As you connect, I want you to say, I found grace. 
When you send it, you, you type, I found grace. If, 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 if you are talking about grace, you say, I found grace. I found the kingdom. I found the kingdom. All these things shall be added at my feet. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, the Bible says, the Bible says, every branch in me that doesn't bear fruit, my father take it away. He take it away. That's why Jesus, here, he was revealing something that he spoke about. He said, a master, a certain master came with, you know, with talents, and he gives, he gives some people there. And then he says, some, someone took his talent. He buried it on the ground. When the master came, he said, please give it to me. Let me show your work. I mean, show me your work. He said, do business until I come. When he came back, he said, show it to me. People started producing their talents. People started producing their talents. People started pro producing their talents. Their talents, 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 talents. And this guy said, this is my talent. He had only one talent, the one that he was given. And the master said, so what's happening with you? He said, I saw that I had one. I had to hide it carefully. So that when you come, I'm able to give it to you. I feared your anger. The boss said, bring it over here. And Jesus was teaching a lesson. He says, he says to the one that doesn't have, the nothing that he doesn't have will be taken from him. The Lord is not much concerned about ability. He's much concerned about your availability in his work. Can you answer his call? That's why we have a special program to raise major prophets, to raise people who are saying, we are tired of being a branch that cannot bear fruits. We, we, we don't see our fruits. We cannot bear fruits. We are tired of being branches that cannot bear fruits. So we want to bear fruits. So we want to be part of this school. We want to be part of this program. The two months program of raising major prophets. We want to give fruits. We want to bear fruits. That's why we have such a program. Because Jesus wants your fruits. He says every branch in me that doesn't give birth. That, that doesn't produce fruits. My father removes it away. Let me continue. He says, And every branch that beareth fruits, he prunes it, he paged it, that it may bring forth more fruits. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto thee. He said, You are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. That's all. If you think you are dirty enough not to do the work, if you think you are dirty enough not to produce fruits, he says, because of the word, you are already clean. You are already clean. If you think you are a sinner, you are already forgiven because of this word. He says, you are already clean because of the word that I spoken to you. Then he says, abide in me and in you. I mean, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruits on itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abided in me, and, in, and I in him, the same, says the same, bringeth forth much fruits. It's number five, he reveals the level number three. He says, the same bringeth forth much fruits. So we have fruits. We have more fruits. Then we have much fruits. He says, if you bring fruits, the Father works on your life. Some people are going through tough times. You think you are rejected of God. You think you are afflicted of God. Sometimes you're not really afflicted of God. You're not really. Sometimes the devil is not, you know, having his hand on you. But it's simply because God is working on you. God wants to remove some wrong stuff from you. 
God wants to remove some wrong stuff in you. Some of you, you have so much pride. He wants to take it away from you. Some of you, you know so much about yourself. He wants to take it out of you. Some of you, you have hatreds and hatreds and grudges and competition among yourselves. He wants to take it out of you. Some of you, you have little faith. He wants to take it out of you. He wants to take it out of you. Some of you, 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 you have so much anger. He wants to take it out of you. Why? Because you bear fruits. So, putting yourself in a position of bearing fruits, especially when the call of giving birth or of fruits has been given to you. Like I am giving you a call now. The Lord is calling you. The Lord is calling you to bear fruits. That's why I'm saying take your seed, sow it. Put it there. Put your seed there. That's why he says, says, you know, don't be seeking after these things that the headings are, are looking after. He says your father knows that you have need of these things. Some of you are some of you are keeping some, some money. There are some people who keep, I'm keeping this money, I want to buy this, I want to buy this. The thing that you want to buy with the money, it is something that God wants to give you more if you can take that and put it there and be productive. You put it in the kingdom. God can give you even more things than that. If you want to buy a car, you want to buy a house, God can even give you more houses for free. For free. He said we shall accommodate, we shall, we, shall, we shall receive houses, we shall sleep in houses we have never built. That was not a, you know, it was not a spiritual thing or, or what. It was a reality. It was a reality. So this is a call. Take that, sow it there. The work of the Lord needs it. The work of the kingdom needs it. So you take it there, you sow it there. You say, I'm sowing this. I have this, I'm sowing it here. I want the gospel to move through the angel of the Lord, Prophet Alex, the navigator. I want this to push the work. I want this to push the gospel. I want this to push the gospel. You take it there, you put it there. And you, by so doing, you are already giving fruits. You're already producing fruits. Because... Your seed can do things that you could never do. It will touch lives that you never thought you will. That you never thought you could. Just your seed will touch a lot of lives. It's an opportunity to give birth to fruits. The Lord says if you are already bearing fruits, He works on your life. He prunes you. He works on you. And I can feel that he's working on, on certain people right now. Some people feel like, God, oh God, I need prophecy here, I need a prophecy here. The Lord is working on you. The Lord is working on you. He's working on your life. He's working in your spirit. He's working in your life. He's working in you. You are bearing fruits. He wants you to give much fruits. Much fruits. He says, Bear fruits, therefore, according to repentance. Bear fruits in consistency. With repentance. What are these fruits? He's talking about the works that we do. The works that we do. What comes into us is a seed. What goes out of us is a fruit. What comes into us is a seed. What goes out of us is a harvest. The Bible says he gives a seed to the sower. So he gives us a seed, we sow it. 
As we sow it, we are expecting a harvest that is coming. You are about to see a harvest in your life. You are about to see a harvest, a bamba harvest over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are about to see a harvest in your life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I said I won't be long. I, want, I, I really want to go deeper and explain deeper about fruits. But this can take me much time. I want to stop here. I want to pray for people right now. Wherever you are. I want to pray for you. I will continue with this message. It's such an anointed message of the Spirit. It's, when we talk of fruits, it goes deeper. It goes deeper. It takes us deeper even into prophecy. Those who watched our previous periscope when we were in the class... They can tell. They can tell. We were talking deeper things concerning fruits. That's why the Bible says they are fruits of the Spirit. They are fruits of the Spirit. So, I want to be praying for some people. I'll pray for you offline, right? So, immediately, immediately, I want you to be calling. And I want to see who is watching. Let me see who is watching and where you are watching from. Everyone that is watching, just put a comment in here. Put a comment in here. Pray for Majoria. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Pravida andale ki brate kizo. Krote le vene ma ambra kisto. Shopalamando kistra dida. La vida abranto o protis de le mei. Synchrona la mande kistra dida. Australia, God bless Australia. Tell us where you're watching us. Where you're watching us from. Tell us where you're watching us from. Australia is in the field. My brother, the prophet Rolando. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. New York City, Maryland, Netherlands. In Florida, I guess that's Jamaica, UK, Alabama. This is exciting. This is wonderful. I'm in the US. This is wonderful. Mauritius, Sandra, God bless Sandra. Perth, UK, USA. Is there anyone from South Africa? Chicago, New York, London, New York. Thank you, Papa. Another great revelation. Kish from Philadelphia. Philadelphia is in the beer. Kish Miller. Sweden. Sweden is in the house. God bless you. 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 How many hours do you have? How many minutes do you have? Huh? Ten minutes. Alright. I'll be praying for people offline, right? I'll be praying for people offline. And I want you to be very patient. If you are, if you are calling over, call over. I'm so anointed for that situation now. And just you would just take your phone and call us. On, you can call us via WhatsApp. You can call us via WhatsApp. Or you can call us, you know, directly. Make sure I'm so anointed for your calls. Now, I'm anointed for your situation now. There are actually three angels that are sitting with me now here. Three angels. Three angels that are sitting with me here. So I want you to take your call. I want you to take your call and call us right away. And make sure you send your offering, you send your seed. Make sure you send your seed. And I'll be dealing with the situation right away. Right away. 
Make sure you send your seed. Make sure you send your seed. Alright? Thank you so much. God bless you. My son is going to be coming here for announcement. Play the other. My son is going to be We are Anointing TV. We are the answer to the nations. We are God's vision at work. Anointing TV. Changing lives and restoring families with the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are the hope of the world. With Prophet Alex Ngambo, the founder of JDP International in the Prophetic Genesis Movement, which is the network of ministers worldwide. Demonstrating the word with prophecy, teaching the word with simplicity and bringing light and understanding to the simple. Well, blessings, blessings again. Blessings again. I'm also here, as Papa said, that I'm just here for announcements. Here to announce um, concerning the prophetic school, concerning the school of the major prophets. As he has been explaining that how he's so ready to do the work that God has called him to do. This special assignment that God has put in his spirit for him to raise major prophets. So right now, as we are here, I just want to tell you that you get yourself register and yes. tell your amount this week is our final week that we are accepting people so we're just giving you this grace this few grace that you're going to have right now for you to be part of the school i just want to emphasize on that one that please make sure that if you have registered make sure you do your first payments because if you don't do them you cannot be part of the school if you don't do that you cannot be part of the school as we have people on our database, there are people who have registered. As we said, it's a limited seat. It's a limited seat. It's not just for everybody. But for those who say, it's my time for me to be raised as a major prophet. For me to be raised as a major prophet. For me to be raised as a major prophet. This is your opportunity. This is the opportunity that God has created all over the world. Everybody from all over the world is invited. God is inviting you. For you to be raised. God is inviting you for you to be taught. God is inviting you for you to become something in your nation, something in your country, something in your community. This is an opportunity that God wants to give it to you. So I just want you to get ready for what God is about to do in your life. So just keep on calling. Papa is, 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 is also answering calls right now. There are people who are calling. Just call through. Just call through. Just make sure that you send your seed. Go to a PayPal account and just bless the ministry. Let the work of God continue. We love you. This is the Apostle signing out. God bless you. Stay tuned. God bless you. We are Anointing TV. We are the answer to the nation. We are God's vision at work. Anointing TV, changing lives and restoring families with the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are the hope of the world. With Prophet Alex Ngambo, the founder of JDP International in the Prophetic Genesis Movement, which is the network of ministers worldwide. Demonstrating the word with prophecy, teaching the word with simplicity and bringing light and understanding to the simple. Equipping and developing men and women to their God-given assignment. Partner with Anointing TV today. Visit www.alexngambole.com Join the International School of Prophecy. Anointing TV.